I don't know, YouTube. I'm afraid you'll put Justin Bieber ads on my videos. <laughs> Hey, how you doing again? It's uh, been a while since I made a vinyl video. Uh, before I get on with it, I got some great news on my personal life that I kind of want to share. That's kind of like why I'm such a happy, animated mood, I think, more than usual. Um, after five months of unemployment, which started in May of 2011, an unhappy separation from my last job, uh, in the last week of September 2011, I got a new job, a better job, better pay, um, better, more skilled work, um, almost like an apprenticeship. They're willing to train me on this job. It's going to take several months, almost a year. Um, the guy sits me down, my supervisor says, hey, we want you to retire from this place. That's how good this job is and they got people who have been working there for decades so it's a company that makes electrical power station uh, distribution equipment um, it's a production job but it's it's a lot more skill and you work by yourself which I love to do so I'm, I'm hoping it works out I've been on the job for a couple weeks now and so the kind of like the pressure is off now from the job search and everything um, so I have time to make videos and things like that when I'm home here now. Um, on this video too, I got a little surprise that I came across in one of the records I'm going to show you, the one at the end I'll show you. Um, so with that, I hope your curiosity is pick, picked a little bit. So let's get on with the, the records here. Um, most, almost all these records were from small uh, independent labels too. I got these all at one trip. I, not many but I got them just yesterday. Um, but you can't really see it on camera, but I have a big box. I have a huge backlog of vinyl, thrift store vinyl. So I'm gonna be making several uh, videos, uh, probably, and I'll be showing them back to back, probably I'll be releasing, well, I might release a couple other things in between, but uh, I finally have the time now to make some, some videos and I'm in a, such a great mood. Uh, so here we go. Uh, first one I found, I used to have a, a record by this group back in the 80s too, but this was uh, uh, Love and Rockets Express, and I guess this was uh, their first uh, U.S. release record, I'm not sure. Um, I played a little bit of, of it, if, if you know about Love and Rockets. They kind of like started that whole kind of dark, kind of goth rock kind of sound. So, so we got Love and Rockets there. Again, this I couldn't find anything about this this group or whatever. Um, this is a promo copy of a group called uh, Short Dogs Grow, and the group is called, or the, the the record is called Matt Dillon. Um, Show you the disc. It's on a label called Rough Trade, and I played a little bit of it. And uh, I don't know, I'm not too crazy about it. I'm not crazy with the lead singer. He's kind of like this. He kind of has that kind of whiny, affected kind of style, overly affected style. Maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know. Grow, short dogs grow. This, this was a cool find. I heard of this band. I never had any of their records. Um, this is basically one guy in Scotland. Um, his name was Roddy Frame. He started this group with a couple other guys. Then he kind of went solo and now he uses uh, backup musicians. But this is uh, Aztec Camera. Oblivious. 
this is a uh, it's actually a 45 rpm 12 inch disc and there's four or there's four there's two uh, tracks on each side it's, it's I've played it once I really like it it's kind of like a he has kind of like a folk folky pop kind of sound so a great find for a buck all these were for a buck too um, here's kind of a real oddball, kind of a mid-60s, I think they, this, these people are trying to cash in on the whole, all the trends of the mid-60s, all in one record. Um, this is something called uh, the Now Generation. And I played this one so far, it's, at first they kind of make, they have some songs that are kind of like the Mamas and the Papas, or, or, um, the group Spanky and our gang, that whole mid-60s kind of folk rock kind of vibe. But then there's a couple tracks on here that are like strict like country. And on the other side there's kind of like a couple ballads. And then there's there's a, there's a track on here that's like an instrumental that sounds like uh, something uh, Herb Alpert and the, and the Tijuana Brass would have recorded. So I don't know whatever happened to these people. Um, they probably just got together in in Nashville, which is where this record was made. And I'll show you the uh, disc. Some small indie Nashville uh, label, which are, there are a ton of them over there. Um, Spar Records. So, don't know what these people, whatever happened to these people. I'm sure this record probably only sold maybe a few thousand copies if, if even that so it is kind of interesting though I kind of liked it um, here's another indie album um, by a group I guess it's called Lawndale Beyond Barbecue and this is on uh, <coughs> SST Records See that there? And I played, I haven't played it all the way through, but it appears to be all instrumental, kind of like surf guitar, surf guitar rock. I kind of like that kind of music to, as background music. So that was a pre pretty cool find. Now I come across uh, these kind of records a lot. They're kind of like the uh, ethnic, I don't know what you call them, records. I have several of these so far, these kind of like German beer drinking songs. And what I notice about these records, their big selling point always seems to be like uh, uh, recorded live in Munich or recorded live in Germany, as if, as if uh, you know, there's something in the air or something in Germany. You can't record German beer drinking music unless it's in Germany or something I don't know you know you can beers all over the world whatever don't make no difference um, I came across this uh, I collect comedy records and I think I have most of this guy's records by now um, this is kinda like a reissue of uh, a Bob Newhart record and uh, I'm a huge fan of the, the, the first uh, Bob Newhart show, the one where he played the psychologist. I have the whole series on uh, DVD. Uh, so this is kind of a nice little addition. Okay, this is the last one I got to show you. Um, I'm playing it right now. It's, uh, it's the T-Bones, no, ma uh, no matter what shape your stomach's in. And this was kind of a funny story here this uh, this Alka-Seltzer commercial was made and uh, this group recorded this little jingle uh, to play over the commercial and uh, of course Alka-Seltzer is like a little remedy for your sick stomach or whatever but apparently it was so this commercial was so popular that the group uh, released this record I think they released it as a single obviously then they released an album um, with a lot of covers of other stuff that was out at the time, like there's uh, what other record was in here? Um, well, let's hang on. I think that was uh, the Four Seasons. These are all instrumentals, obviously. 
Um, one was Lies by the Knickerbockers. There's like a cool instrumental version of that. Um, and another cool thing I like about this record, this record, this disc, is in like mint condition. Um, when I get when I get my records home, I usually put my own sleeves on them right away. But uh, there is absolutely no wear abrasion on on the edges, any of the edges. Um, I thoroughly cleaned this record too, whether it needed it or not. I mean, it's in perfect, almost perfect condition. Uh, but what I thought was really uh, amusing is I found a little surprise uh, in this record. And I don't know if you ever come across records at thrift stores and you might uh, come across like some, some, the former owner might have like some personal stuff in there, like maybe a, some pictures or photographs or something. Um, but this is what I found. I found some little writing kind of a glued to a piece of construction paper and uh, it, it smells like like it's been in here for a pretty long while it sounds pretty smells pretty old uh, but uh, apparently some kid wrote this little story and uh, and uh, it seems kind of appropriate for uh, this video or maybe not well I'll just let you judge for yourself uh, it's written by some kid apparently named Andrew Peterson and the title apparently is The Rock Rabbit okay, The Rock Rabbit and I'll read it once upon a time there was a rabbit who loved rock and roll he lived in a forest some of his best friends are Mickey Mongoose, Alley Alligator, and Timmy Mouse. They knew that he loved rock and roll, so they took him to Rock City. When they got there, Rock Rabbit heard so much rock music, he hated it. So they took him home. Then he wanted to go to Country City. So they took him there. He didn't like that either, so they took him home again. This time he wanted to go to Jazz City. He liked Jazz City. Now he wanted Jazz Records. They wouldn't get him Jazz Records, so he gave up music. Now he's called Sport Rabbit. <laughs> Andy, how could you give up music? Come on. I don't know when you wrote this. You might have wrote it... Uh, 40 years ago or or four years ago but uh, you know we're here on YouTube we love records come on maybe it can change your mind if you're watching this you know there could be several well there could be several people watching this so uh, with that I hope you enjoyed that and uh, whatever shape you're in economically if you're unemployed like I was you know keep up that job search um, in my case, I, I was looking for anything, anything that would support me. I even calculated that I could take a minimum wage job and survive on that if I really had to. Uh, but after the first couple months, I was eager to get back to work. I'm not going to hold out for two years of unemployment or something. Um, but I can't judge you people out there, obviously. Only only do what I do. and. Uh, um, Whatever, whatever, I hope everything's going well with you people, everybody out there, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be making a lot more videos now that I got the right frame of mind to do that. So bye, bye for now.